Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michaela. if you're new here, and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to basically sit down and do a makeup tutorial and actually like do some makeup. I feel like my last couple tutorials have been like super natural and I've been really craving just to like be glam. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop talking and let's get to it. I feel like I'm channeling uh, Morticia Adams right now. What do y'all think? Ooh, maybe I should do like a, ooh, maybe I'll do like a Morticia Adams Halloween tutorial in October. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna put my hair back in these cute little clips. Dude, I've had this like dry patch over my eyebrow, like right here for months, it was like a pimple at first and then it went away and it was like red for a while and now it's just like dry and flaky and I have no idea what's going on. Like, can you get like eczema in your brows? Is that possible? But I mean, it's just hanging out there in the bushes, so. So how have y'all been? What are you up to? How is your summer going? Mine's going nowhere. I will say I am very excited for it to be September. I feel like the whole like spring and summer seasons this year just like morphed into one and it's just like never ending. Like I just I just feel like it's just like going to be spring and summer forever and I'm just I'm just ready for a change. I'm ready for new seasons and so I'm really excited for September to be here. I'm gonna do some decorate with me, some fall makeup tutorials. I already got some ideas of what I want to do. Just really embracing the vibes, just embracing it all. Give me all the pumpkins. Do y'all decorate your house for fall, for Halloween, for Thanksgiving? What do you guys do? Do you get festive? Do you not? I definitely decorate my house for fall. Obviously I just said that. I don't really decorate it for Halloween just because I feel like I put all my fall decor up and then if I take it down and put Halloween decor up and then I take that back down to put my fall decor back up, I'm just kind of like, I am so excited for my husband to be back. He's gonna be back soon, but not soon enough. I'm just excited that I like, pick my life up again. I feel like since he has been gone, I don't know, my life just feels like it's been on hold. I haven't been able to really do anything with the world falling apart and whatnot. And it's just been lonely. It's been a very lonely time. And like not being around anybody, like I don't really have a whole lot of friends here. I don't have any family nearby. I don't have any family that's like willing to come out and see me cause like they got their own stuff going on. It is not my day, you guys. It is not my day. I, y'all, I had a rough night, rough morning. I could not sleep at all last night. I uh, woke up like 50 million times cause I had to go pee. Does anyone else like deal with that where they like wake up a million times have to go pee even when they don't really need to go pee? It's like that feeling of needing to go. So I kept waking up in the middle of the night and like, I don't know, I just like my body just like was like aching. I'm not sick by the way. But I just like, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling my best. And then I had a headache like all through the night, like a tension headache and I woke up and I just like felt super woozy and I literally, <laughs> I went and like sat down in my living room in like a dark room and I just sat there for an hour just like I literally just like sat like that for like an hour just trying to like get myself together because I just felt like just like not in my element not in my body kind of like vertigo-ish I don't know it was really weird so I just like sat there and drank some water and ate some oatmeal and it was a good time where was I going with this whole conversation oh yeah I I don't know it's just tough being alone right now with everything going on and not having like anyone to talk to really not having really any friends here just like literally being alone um and not having family that can you know that is willing to come out and see me just because yeah like I said they have their own stuff going on and it's not like I can just like pick up and just like fly home uh because I totally would in a heartbeat but I have my dog I have chance and I like, I don't have any kids. And so Chance is like my baby. So I'm not just gonna leave him with whoever. Cause I don't know, I'm just like really weird with like leaving my dog with somebody. I, I don't know. I'm just like, I don't have a lot of trust in a lot of people when it comes to my pets. So I'm just like afraid to like leave him somewhere. And then with all the changes that are going on and everything, I'm just like so afraid that something were to happen and I wouldn't be able to get back home. And whoever's watching him would not be able to watch him anymore and then they would take him to the pound and then he would disappear and I would never be able to find him again. That is how I play that whole scenario going down in my head if I were to like go home. 
Welcome to the mind of Michaela. <laughs> okay, so I might like go back and forth between some palettes. Uh, this is from Dose of Colors, Baked Brown. Baked Browns? Yeah, Baked Browns. Okay, so like I was saying, I don't know. It's just really hard being here alone. And I know that like a lot of people are going through a lot harder stuff than I am, but it's just tough being alone in your thoughts. Like, thank goodness I have my dog because I don't know what I would do if I didn't have him. I definitely notice like there's some days where I feel like I'm just like falling into a deep, just depression. Uh, and I've always been like super timid about saying that because I feel like like saying that you're depressed or that you have depression or anxiety, people like look at that like a stigma and they're like, ooh. So I've always been like hesitant on like saying that I'm like dealing with some of that. Uh, but yeah, it's tough. When he first left, I was doing like pretty good. I was making meals for myself every day. And then obviously like flipping Rona happened. By the way, I'm going in with this color right here and I'm just dusting it in my crease up towards my brow bone is a transition shade. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this brown shade right here. But anyways, like I was saying, it's just like gotten to the point where it's like, I'm just so ready for him to be home. There's some days where it's like, I just want to like hurry up the day so that it can be over with so it can be like the next day. But then it's like when nighttime comes around, I just get really sad and lonely and I'm just kind of like sitting on my couch just like, I feel like I've been super unhealthy lately as far as like my eating habits because I tend to just like, not that I eat junk food all the time, but I definitely like dig more into the junk food and just like unhealthy foods when I'm just feeling down and everything. So I really wanna try and make a conscious effort to just like be a little bit healthier and just eat, I don't know, better foods and just get healthier before he comes home. I really wanna go on vacation when uh, Dagan gets back home, just because I've been like stuck here the whole time. But the wonderful army has a travel ban right now where I think you can't go like, like last time I checked, uh, I think it was like a hundred miles. Like you can't go past a hundred miles. And now they have like a travel ban where you can't go to any of the counties of like the major cities in Texas. So so basically like anywhere in Texas you like can't go to now. So I, I, I don't know what their point is with this. I wanna go to the beach which I know like the Gulf of Texas. Is that what it's called the beach down there? I don't know. Down south where the beach is in Texas. Uh, I really just wanna like go there and just like not worry about anything. Just sit on the beach, have a good time and just like not worry about anything. But I don't know if we'll be able to go because it's a lot farther than a hundred miles. So probably not, but who knows. I'm staying hopeful. I've only been to the beach like down south once before and that was like four five years ago when Dig and I first got married we went down to South Padre to have like a little spring break vacation with a co-worker with some of his co-workers and like their girlfriends and wives and uh that was an interesting trip basically we just got like super wasted and on the beach all day and Dagan got really mad at me because I was drunk out in the ocean trying to swim and he thought I was gonna drown myself, which rightfully so, like I was not in my right mind, but I don't do that kind of stuff anymore. That is a part of my past. I'm more like the let's sit on the beach and read a book. Like that's my kind of good time now. Like I just like don't really care to drink all that much anymore. I don't, I don't find it like, like I don't, I don't mind having a drink every once in a while. Like I'm not like, you know, banning alcohol forever in my life or anything like that, but I just like don't, I don't know, I just don't have like really a desire to drink. And I get headaches really easily from a lot of um, drinks, whether it's like wine, champagne, <sighs> champagne, I don't know. Just like any type of alcohol, I get headaches really easily. I don't know if I'm allergic to it or not. So I try to steer clear of it, but you know, I don't mind every once in a while having like a hard seltzer, you know, like a white claw. I don't mind having like a glass of wine with dinner, like that kind of stuff, but it's not something where like, I feel like I need to drink day in and day out. Anyways, what I was trying to say before my camera rudely cut me off is I was gonna ask you guys, do you prefer this kind of style video where I'm just like talking to the camera about my life or would you prefer a voiceover? I don't mind doing a voiceover because it's a lot quicker to film and edit, but sometimes I feel like it's so like cookie cutter where I feel like I'm just like, like, and here's my next product. I just feel like sometimes I get so worked up and wanting to be this perfect YouTuber and do my makeup perfectly and just come off 
the right way that sometimes I just feel like I'm like a, a stiff board. I kind of like talking to the camera because it feels almost like therapeutic, but sometimes I just don't have anything to say. I'm just like for the fifth millionth time, I'm just excited for my husband to get home basically. And to just be able to pick up my life again, you know? I just feel like a piece of me is missing sometimes and I just want to feel whole again if we're being honest. So yeah. And I just feel like everything is just making me sad. Like the other night, I just, <laughs> like this is just going to show like I need to get my life together basically. So I had ordered a pizza because that's the thing like when I feel sad or like depressed or anything, like the last thing I feel like doing is cooking. And so I ordered a pizza for my favorite pizza place around here. But instead of ordering the regular pizza, I wanted to order like a Sicilian style pizza, which is like a super thick crust, like square pizza. First of all, um, I didn't realize how big the pizza was. Like it ended up showing up to my doorstep. It was like an extra large pizza. I thought it was gonna be like half that size. So when she brought me the box, I was just like, oh. And then I go to like open it up and open it up and like look at it and it looked like really good. And then when I was eating it, I just noticed like, like there wasn't any cheese. Like there was cheese. Like, you know how like a regular pizza, you have like the pizza crust, the sauce, the cheese, the, the toppings on top. Well, this was like the thick crust, the tomato sauce, the toppings, and then like a sprinkle of cheese on top. I don't know. I just felt like I was eating like a big loaf of French bread with some like pepperoni on it. And so then I felt bad because I was like, I spent all this money on like a large pizza. I can't finish it for myself. I don't like it. And then I was like, I just wasted money. And I told my husband that the next day, I was like, I just feel sad about this pizza. And he's like, just throw it away then. Yeah, y'all, I'm just like, send help. I kind of want to dip into some of Tati Beauty's Texture Neutrals Volume 1 palette. I think I'm going to go in with Aura in the metallic, in the metallic shade. I feel like I need to get my brush wet. Oh yeah. Do you see that difference right there? Oh. I just sprayed alcohol on my brush, not water. Ah! Okay, my eye isn't burning. It's not a makeup tutorial, something doesn't go wrong, right? I was like, wow, that is really metallic. That's some good water. <laughs> and okay, so now that we have that fiasco under control, I'm just gonna take a precision brush and go in with Memory in the matte shade. I'm just gonna kind of smoke out the lash line. Okay, so I went ahead and threw on my lashes. I am just wearing the Ardell Wispies. Just put on some mascara, top these on. So now we're gonna go on to my foundation. I think I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is in the shade 115. What else has been going on? I met my neighbor yesterday. That was really cool. She was really sweet. So yesterday I'm coming home from my appointment at my chiropractor's and I'm like unlocking my front door and I'm about to walk inside and then all of a sudden I kind of hear something over to the side and I look over and in like the front part of my house um under like the tree next to my house there's a, a dog standing there um like a bigger dog like kind of looks like Chance but a lot bigger yeah and then this little boy runs up to the dog and is like wrapping his arms around it and like sobbing and I walked over to this little boy and I was like hey are you okay and he was just like you can tell that he was like distraught and he like couldn't really find the words. And I was like, is this your dog? And he didn't have a collar on or anything. So like the the kid was just like, like kneeling on the ground, just like holding him, like not moving because the dog would get loose if he moved. And so I was like, okay, Michaela, think, think, like think. Uh, so I went inside and I grabbed one of Chance's leashes and I like makeshift it into a collar where you like pull it through the loop. You know what I mean? I was like, do you live around here? Like where are your parents? So I was like, well, where do you live? Like, let me take you back home. And he was trying to explain to me like where he lived, but the kid, like I said, was like really upset because his dog ran away. And so he was trying to explain to me and I was just like, yeah, I, I, I don't know what you're trying to say, child. So I was like, do you know like your mom or dad's like numbers? Can we call them? And he was like, no. And I was like, well, crap. Like, what What should I do? And the neighbor who I had met, she was standing in her backyard, like watching our interaction and everything. So I was like, okay, be smart, Michaela, what should we do? And I was like, the only thing I can think of is to put the dog and the kid in my car and try and like find like his home. Um, I know there's like a local file, fire department down the road. So if anything, we could like drive there and they could probably help us. But then luckily, right when I was about ready to like, be like, hey, let's go like figure out where your house is. He was like, oh, there's my dad. And the dad was like walking down the street. 
So I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. So then the dad came with like the harness or whatever. And apparently like, yeah, the dog had gotten loose. And mind you, this kid, they're about to ready to walk home. And I don't know how far they like lived, uh, but the kid was barefoot. He was all like scraped up. I felt really bad for him. He was like emotionally like distraught. And so I like was like, hey, do you guys like want a ride back to your house? Like, cause it's hot. It's like really hot out here too. And like with the dog and everything. And the dad was like, yeah, that'd be really great. Thank you. So we like loaded up the three of them in my little car. They were like pretty much just like just up the road from us, but walking wise and having like a child run after the dog, like, like I personally felt like that was really far for a child to wander off after the dog. Okay, where was I? Sorry. My battery died. Anyways, so I went into my backyard to let my dog out and to clean out my little blow up pool. And then I started talking to my neighbor and we were just talking about like the little boy and everything cause she was in the backyard. So she saw everything happen. My neighbor was like, like, she was really, really sweet. You can definitely tell like she probably hasn't like talked to a lot of adults lately because of everything going on because she literally would not stop talking. She was really sweet though. Like, like she was, she was really, really sweet, but oh my gosh, she talked my ear off and she was standing in the shade and I was standing in the sun. So at first I was like, cool, I'll just, you know, we'll talk and everything. Cause you know, it's nice to have a conversation every once in a while, especially like not having a whole lot of human interaction and like not going out and meeting people a lot. Like, like I was like, this is nice. Like, this is nice to like talk to people. Like, like we don't do this anymore. This is really nice. So we were talking and then I felt like Jeez, I felt like we were out there for like an hour talking, probably not that long, but it felt like a long time and the sun was coming out and it was getting hot. At one point it's like, I'm trying to like listen to her, but like the sun is like beating on the right side of my body. And so I'm like sitting there like, like trying not to pass out cause it was so hot out. Oh my gosh, it was so hot out. Uh, So yeah, that, that was fun. I feel like I have so much makeup on my face because I haven't worn this much makeup in so long. I used to wear this much makeup like every single day when I was working at Clinique like and working at a makeup counter like you have to wear makeup every single day like you just have to. Now I look back at it and I'm just like how did I do that? I'm also really grateful because working there just made me like fall in love with makeup. Same with working at Ulta. That was like my first adventure into makeup which I still don't know how I was ever hired because I never wore makeup really in my life prior to that. Never did my brows like it was just not a cute situation. But if I wouldn't have ventured off into that I probably wouldn't be doing YouTube. Okay I'm just gonna set my face real quick. I'm going back in with that Baked Browns palette that I used with that dark brown shade and I'm just wiggling it under my lash line. I take some of that lighter brown shade that I use as a transition shade. I'm just gonna smudge smudge and connect my lower lash line with the outer corner. Should I put some eyeliner on my lower lash line? Let's just put a little bit on, just a little bit. This is the Morphe eyeliner pencil in the shade Trendsetter. Oh, doesn't that make a difference? Mm-mm-mm. She is ready to sit on the couch. Bronzing with my butter bronzer. What shows have you guys been into? I am like starting to hit, I mean, first world problems, but <laughs> I'm just starting to hit like a lull with what kind of shows I wanna watch. I feel like I've just seen them all and the ones that I've been recommended to watch and just can't really get into. I don't know. There's just nothing that's like intriguing. Have you guys seen Outer Banks on Netflix? I know that came out a little bit ago, but I watched it and I loved it. And I was like, babe, you should really watch this. It's like really good. And he was like, mm, it's like a little teeny bopper show. And I was like, well, yeah, it is, but it's really good. And I thought it was really intriguing. So I'll probably just force him to watch it with me again when he gets back. That's what marriage is all about, you know? We force our significant other to watch shows that they don't wanna watch because they love us. But yeah, also he has to be on a 14 day quarantine. So he's got nothing else to do but watch shows with me. For blush, I'm gonna go in with this Wander Beauty. This is a duo. Cannot stand this bronzer, but I love this blush. This is in the shade Bellini. I'm just gonna pop that. a little bit on my nose. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with my tried and true favorite. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Highlighter. Boom. Boom. So for lips, I'm gonna use, this is the Milani for natural, all natural, for all natural. I like to overline 
my top lip because it's just non-existent. And then for a lip stick, this is a L'Oreal Paris, pa Paris, L'Oreal Paris, L'Oreal Paris, liquid, I think it's a liquid lipstick. Uh, this is in the shade 416 I Create. I love, 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 love this applicator. Wow, you guys. Wow. Let me see if I can FaceTime my husband real quick. I wanna see his reaction. Cause I haven't done makeup like this in a long time. Yo! Wow. What is that? Look oh, nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. What do we think? Do we like it? Do we feel glam? Are we glow up? Toe up, glow up? So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed hanging out with me while I put this makeup on. I'm probably just gonna go sit on my couch now, so that's cool. Anyways, you guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're into this kind of thing, subscribe or don't. Don't feel obligated to, but it would be cool if you did. Anyways, I hope you all have a great day and yeah, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.